Today I'll show you how to build a super tough lightsaber blade. And with my trusty assistant karate guy, let's see how it works. This is the green blade. Here's a purple blade. Here's a blue blade. Virtually indestructible. Want to build some of your very own? Stand by. Here we go. It is time to build some lightsabers. The new movie is coming out. Every, Halloween's here. Everybody wants a lightsaber and I want to make them that are tough. This is something I've been working on for over a year. You can see how to build a simple hilt. I'll post link to the video down below but here is the blades and many options I'm trying to make these kid adult tough these are combat blades you can beat on them all day long and they're not gonna break one of the simplest options is just some pex pipe or shark bite pipe I use this in a lot of my builds it's colorful it's a little bit flexible this thing is and comes in red as well as blue it's solid color all the way through have all sorts of combat with it it's really a great thing I just put some matching duct tape on the end here's a bonus for you as far as the hilt design and build I noticed that sometimes the paint was scratching off and if you want to have the battle scratches that's fine otherwise you just take the parts off that were painted like this one this one, you want to paint the whole lightsaber. Take these parts, hit them with a little bit of clear coat, a couple coats of that, and that will preserve your paint in any kind of lightsaber combat. Okay, so here's my hilt without any things in it. I take a regular flashlight, throw it down in there like that, and then I can just slide that there, and it lights up. Kind of hard to see, but trust me, it lights up. So that's the PEX pipe option. This will cost you maybe two bucks. Sand down this little edge here, and there you go. That's three quarter inch PEX pipe or shark bite pipe. You can do it in red, same kind of thing. It's a purple lightsaber option where I've just taken some PVC pipe, took an end cap. I guess I could shave that down and sand it down. We put some reflective ribbon in there, taped it on the inside so that the light's on, it reflects back and forth. How do you make this one? You're just using purple primer on PVC pipe. You just take a regular paintbrush, it stains the pipe, it doesn't come off, wail on it all day, hit anything you want, it's not breaking. This is one inch PEX pipe and all I did is I took some cellophane, you can get it probably in Walmart or one of the big stores or Michaels or something and, and it's just regular cellophane wrap and you can uh, just cut off a piece you slide in a tube. I'm using this clear T8 tube and cutting it down to size. A great way to figure this out is you just take some masking tape, you wrap it around the end and then you can cut it to whatever length you want and this stuff is really durable. So, PEX pipe with a T8 tube over it, capturing in the cellophane. Here's probably one of my favorites, and I'm going to deconstruct this for you because I haven't glued everything in place. And this is fluorescent paint. And I just took that and I put it on the PEX pipe. And you can see, as if, you spray paint, if your spray painting is anything like mine, you, you can really kind of uh, give it kind of a ghostly glowy feel to it and then I sanded this down and when I tested it it actually kind of um, was a little tough on the paint so that's why I put the T8 shield over the top of it to protect it and to give it act quite frankly a little extra glow and you can wail on this all day long let me show the end and how I make the reflector you probably could get them at Home Depot they came in six and all the colors I wanted green Yellow, I'm not gonna make a yellow lightsaber. Blue, clear, and red. 
when you pull them out of the package, they actually have a little sticky on them. This isn't a pex pipe, we'll give you an idea. Took the sticky and I, I ran it around the end there. Made, made a little rim. I cut it out, put some of this reflective tape in there. There you go, you got the little thing on the center. Do a little quick fit check. Perfect. Okay, gives you a nice little cap. And then you take some of my currently favorite rapid fuse glue. Glue the edge down here. Glue the T8 sleeve on top of that. And, and then you've got something really tough. And then here on the white end, I've actually sanded this down so it will fit flush with the flashlight. And push right in. I guess you could screw it down and all that stuff, but I found that just a little bit of friction fit is all you need. Probably the most expensive one because this fluorescent paint costs a couple bucks, probably about four or five dollars, maybe a little more depending on where you get it. But that gives it this iridescent glow. You put the sleeve on top of that and you've got a lightsaber that you can be proud of. It lights up really well and it will take a lot of punishing. So here we go, all glued up on that end. And I actually just ran some electrical tape around this end instead of gluing it. Now, just put that on there like that. Bingo, ready for combat. Other options you might have for designing your lightsaber blades. You can use big magnum markers. This is the magnum marker for red. And here's some blue. Here's a green one. But what I found with these is you really have to kind of spray paint them down with a clear coat of polyurethane or something. Otherwise, you can see where I might, where I had some dings there. If you don't care about the dings, you want to have some battle scars on your lightsaber blade, then I would say go for it. And then here you can see where I tested the purple blade. This is actually a couple paint jobs. This was the original color and then I got it a little darker if you so, if you so care. Uh, and it came out really rich and purple. And you don't really don't like, need to light these up, but they do light up from the from the inside. Now let's talk flashlights. This is a whole nother thing unto itself. Okay, you can get these little cheap flashlights here. The great thing, one of the design constraints I wanted is something that fits down in here. I will put the link below for this flashlight. These things are pretty indestructible. They're high power, they flicker. So if you want your lightsaber to flicker, this will do it for you, but I'll tell you what, you don't want to look at it too long because it'll give you a headache. And you can actually change the focus to optimize the color throughout the lightsaber. So there's a, and then there's a kind of a, a lower beam, a higher beam, and then like I said, the flicker. And they fit beautifully in here. And then just slide the blade on and, and you're ready to go. These lightsaber hilts, by the way, really tough. I built them kid tough, but more important, adult tough. Because I know adults love to get dressed up, go to cosplays, and just kind of wail on these things. Other options for, for lightsaber lights is you can use something like this, but you can see it doesn't really fit in there. So I'm going to actually make some more lightsabers using PVC pipe and some plumbing pipe, and where I'll use something like this. But you can see where I've taped it in here and tested out a green light. Same thing with these. You can just you get all sorts of different options. This won't slide in there well. This is for a bigger, more like an inch and a half PVC pipe. I try to keep all my blades at three quarter inch inner diameter, one inch. So they're running around <laughs> one inch, one inch and a quarter. You don't want to have much bigger than that. So there you go. Three lightsaber blades, virtually indestructible for just a couple dollars a piece. Thumbs up. And comments always appreciated. Stay tuned for future builds, including a dark saber, coming soon.